Today we're going to be going over the Java solution for lead code 791, custom sort string. You are given two strings order and s. All of the characters of order are unique and were sorted in some custom order previously. Permute the characters of s so that they match the order that order was sorted. More specifically, if a character x occurs before a character y in order, then x should occur before y in the permuted string. Return any permutation of s that satisfies this property. Okay, so let's look at examples to get a better idea of what this question is trying to ask us. Um, so we're going to be given two strings, order and s, and basically order is um, filled with only unique characters uh, of yeah, of only unique characters and letters. So that's why you can see here the constraints are order can be from length of one or length of 26 since there's only 26 lowercase letters. And then S can be from size one to size 200. It doesn't matter how long S is really. Um, so what we have to do is that we're going to check to see that, okay, if a character appears in order before um, another um, character, so for example, C appears before B and A, then we have to mix and match the letters of s and then output them so that c appears before b and a and then b appears before a and then finally um, we would be just left with a d that we could just throw on at the very end so let's look at example two for that um, we will have c um, the order is c b a f g and the um, s the string of s is a b c d we see that okay does s contain c yes it does it's right here so we'll put it in first does s contain b yes it does we'll put it in does s contain a yes it does we'll put it in does s contain f no so we'll skip it does s contain g no so at the end when we have basically put them in order we are just left with d which we could just tack on at the very end so to tackle this problem basically what we're going to do is that we are going to keep track of like all the frequencies of each letter of each character that s has since they could have multiple for example if in this example one s was instead a a b c c d then we see that c appears first so we had to put both c's first and then b and then both a's and then d at the very end so here we're going to keep um a track of the frequencies of s and basically how many letters appear in in what order and then we're gonna linearly search through order basically we're gonna see okay um, right now we're looking at character um, one which is C right here we're gonna look through our frequency map or frequency array um, of s and then we can basically um, easily look up and see that okay C does appear in s and so we're just gonna make a string builder that's gonna build the string and then we're gonna have all the C's that s has then we will move on to B. We see that, okay, we look through S, it does contain a B. So then we will put it all into our string builder, all the Bs that exist in S, and then we will move on to A. And then finally, when we're left with our miscellaneous letters that um, don't appear, we are just going to put them at the end. It doesn't matter which order, as long as they satisfy the condition that order, that S follows orders. Okay, so let's go to coding it. So. Like I said, we're going to have to first get the frequency of each letter that appears in S. So we're going to put it into um, an array. You could also use a hash map if you would like. Equals new int 26. So for the 26 letters, then we're going to look through or loop through S. And then add it as we go along. So array of s.char add i. Oh, one second i minus a plus plus and now after that array would have all the frequencies um, of each letter that are represented by the index so now we're gonna make our string builder so we're gonna initialize our string builder which is gonna be what um, we're gonna return at the very end so string builder result equals new string builder Oops. builder there we go and now we can loop through order to basically add it as we go along. So for int i is equal to zero, i is less than order dot length, i plus plus. Okay, so what is our criteria um, for order? So if array of order dot char at i, i minus a, so basically finding the letter, if 
it is greater than zero. So this is basically saying that whatever letter we're looking at for order, and if that's greater than zero, then that means it appears in S. So what we're going to do is that um, for simplicity's sake first, I'm going to make another variable letter. Um, and that's basically just so I don't have to write down order dot char at I over and over again. So I'm just going to assign it to be order dot char at I. Okay. Um, and also, so now we're going to um, add, keep adding it to our string builder. Um, one thing we do have to keep in mind is that S could have multiple of those letters. It could have maybe five. Um, in example one, if S was A, 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 and then C, 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 then it could have multiple Cs. So we have to figure out how many we have to put in. So we could do that by basically getting the length of whatever array dot um, order dot char add I minus A is. So we I'll make um, a temporary length variable and length is going to equal array or actually is going to equal array order the char at i minus a so now we can loop oh i should use j so now we can loop through how many frequencies of um that letter appears in s and then keep adding it to our string builder so we're going to do result dot append uh, letter and also we are going to start to remove that letter as well because at the end of oh minus minus because at the end of this after at the end of this for loop we're going to loop through array one more time to see if there are any miscellaneous letters that did not appear in order that we could just put in at the end so if we don't do this then it's basically then we're going to have like a repeat of everything so, and also the reason why I put it into a length variable right here is because if we're decreasing our array, that's going to um, keep changing this for loop. So that's the reason why. Um, so after this, we will basically have um, all the orders of. So after this, um, and we come out of this for loop, we're going to have our string builder result. Um, have all the orders of S and now we're just going to be left with some miscellaneous letters that we could just put on at the very end. So we're just going to loop through that. So I is less than 26. I plus plus. Um, so if array of I is greater than zero, so that means it still exists. Um, we're just going to add it and then add it for however much we need to. So if there's like five, for example, in this case, if there were like five Ds, we would have to add five Ds. So this is just looping through and then adding how many we need to. So we're just going to do result dot append. Um, and then we're also going to have to um, cast a char. So I plus A, since array is an integer array, not a char array. And then at the very end, we can just return result dot to string. So we're going to turn it into a string since that's the thing we have to return um, instead of a string builder. Okay, now let's see if it works. All right, great. Now let's submit it. Okay, great. So that was um, LeetCode 791 custom sort.